Sarah and Nikita. I'm back at it again with another. <laughs> so if you're not subscribed, please be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Make sure you hit the bell on the side so you're notified every time I post. I do anything about my YouTube channel. So today, 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 y'all. Um, today is something that is like really something that I feel like I need to hear, and I feel like it's something that somebody else may need to hear. Um. Like one of my friends, Max says, somebody gonna hear me. Somebody needs to hear me. Somebody's gonna hear me. Like today is just something that I feel like is very informational. Um, it's something that I have been trying to work on and things of that sort. Um, so I just feel like it's gonna be good for me to say this. Um, if you read the title then um you know i'm just going to be talking about um how to be your best self if you feel like you know somebody who struggles with being their best self someone who likes to fit in um share this video with them or they're in the same household with you or you just feel like okay i want you to know this because i'm trying to help you share this video watch this video with them um yeah i have been put to the test um the whole month of November and I can say um I failed some I passed some but at the end of the day I didn't give up um so that's why I wanted to come make this video I just feel like I this is something that I needed to talk about um so I do have uh, a couple of notes here in my phone uh just to keep me on track the rest I'm just gonna let flow the points in my phone are just something that I need to touch on to I need to remember but the rest, I'm just going to let it flow. Just going to talk. Um, so, let's get straight into the video. So, um, number one of how to be your best self. Now, this is just some points that I think that I need to continue to work on. And some things that I feel like I need to improve on. Um, so, I'm just going to talk personally from me. Um, I'm also going to be giving examples on like how you should handle situations. And how um, everything doesn't need a reaction. Um, so yeah. Also, guys, disclaimer, excuse me, I do wear glasses now, so excuse the reflection of the ring light from my glasses. Um, but yeah, so the first point I have is always believe in you. So by that, I mean whatever, whatever you feel that you can achieve, you can do it. Always believe in yourself. Like, Anybody could tell you something. They could be like, oh, well, you can't do this. You can't do that. Oh, you about to do that? That's not going to be, you're not going to be successful. Um, don't listen to that. Like, throw all that in the trash. Like, if they do hear, if you do hear that, let it go from one ear to the other. Like, from this ear, that ear in the trash. Like, always believe in yourself. Never um, listen to what someone else has to think never listen to what um somebody else has to say about you because that's their perception of you you have your own perception of you god didn't make everybody just alike if we did we all be wearing the same clothes we all be having the same lifestyle we all be walking one way going up like no we all be working the same boring job just pressing one letter Oh my gosh, everybody looks exactly the same. Like, no. So, don't listen to what nobody has to say about you. But only you have, you have that authority in your life. You have that say-so of what, the, what you want to believe. Um, Number two, putting yourself first is not selfish. Okay, so I have learned to... um. Maybe in school, you always said that, you always heard, um, sharing is caring, or, um, it's better to, you know, put your, help someone before helping yourself, or just something of that nature. Um, I have learned that putting yourself first is not selfish. Putting yourself first is showing self-love. It's showing you just need that in that moment so what I'm, I'm saying all this to say is that self putting yourself first you have to put yourself first physically 
mentally and emotionally. Um, me, I have started to put myself first. I stop. I have a big heart. Like, if anyone who knows me, I will do whatever above and beyond for everybody, anybody. No matter if I know you or not, no matter how long I have known you, no matter, you know, whatever. Um, I choose to put myself last and help that person out. Sometimes that's not good because you can go above and beyond for somebody and I promise they wouldn't think twice on helping you. Like, you could sit down there and somebody be like, hey, I need a ride to um, Walmart. Okay. You're going to start whatever you're doing, put that on hold, and you're going to bring that person to Walmart. But let's say you don't have a ride to work and you text that person and be like, hey, I need a ride to work or I need a ride to Walmart, you know, whatever. They'll be like, oh, well, I'm kind of with this person right now or I'm at home doing this, that, and that, I'm cleaning. They're not going to stop what they're doing to help you. Now, I'm not saying that's everybody, but majority of the people, they're not going to think twice on helping you. So you have to put yourself first, physically, mentally, emotionally. I have noticed that I have been putting myself on a back burner and like my feelings have been all around. I'm going to be honest and say now, um, the last couple of days, I have really been depressed. And I haven't been myself and it just kicks that's just something that kicks in and it kicks in because I have not been putting myself first so I'm starting to learn how to cope with everything of course it's not gonna last for a long time hopefully um so I'm really learning to put myself first um learning to actually I don't really talk about my problems I don't talk about things I have gone through no more because I've noticed that when you do talk to people it could backfire um you can see it as you just releasing stress releasing everything you just need to get it out but is it and just to say you and that person are no longer friends anymore they're going to use that against you they're going to say this they're going to say that so i've learned not to yeah just not to tell nobody anything i deal with it myself um i also am going to start um writing stuff on a plate i have seen that on tiktok and instagram and facebook and stuff just writing stuff on a plate and breaking it or going out somewhere abandoned or whatever and just screaming to the top of your lungs things of that sort i want to try that i want to try um writing stuff down just releasing it to myself because i've noticed that you can't tell anybody anything like so that's something another thing surround yourself I, surround yourself by motivational people and motivation every day so with that being said i follow a lot of motivational quotes on instagram um i have daily uh, affirmations come to my phone what else um my some of my family are very motivational um, Mackenzie, I literally, I'm sorry, she's going to kill me for saying her, her government name. Mac, um, she's very, very motivational, and I talk to her literally every day, 24-7. Um, and I just wanted to say thank you to you for always checking in on me, always being there, always, you know, everything like that, for always being motivational, telling me, Tarnika, do this, Tarnika, do that did you do this did you like thank you for that um like that's somebody who i know that if anything i can talk to her about anything um so surround yourself by motivational people surround yourself by motivation constantly even if you have to say something to yourself like every day to like motivate you do that um while we're talking about this um i'm gonna tell y'all something that i started to tell myself every day I'm going to tell y'all the person who installed it in me. And at one point, I just started. It was silly, so something that he would say. But it really hit home this week. So, um, I go to Northwestern State University. Like, if anyone who doesn't know, um, I got this jacket on. Or whatever. Um, but I go to Northwestern State University. And I met this definitely, uh lifetime long friend like he's definitely 
read like this. Um, his name is LT. Um, it's not his real name, but you know, I'm not going. Whatever. Um, so he would tell me and one of my friends every day, like no matter what it was, no matter whatever, we'll be in class, and he would always say, no matter if I, I can really scroll through all the videos that I have in my phone of him, and I promise you. If he's not rubbing his hair, showing his little ways and stuff, he's telling us this phrase every day. Even not on camera. He used to tell us every day. And actually, I posted a video on Snapchat of him saying it. And I was like, I really needed to hear this today. Like, I say this to myself ten times today. Like, I really need that. He was like, this is why I told y'all this every day. Like, you know. Um. So, the phrase is, it's not what's on you. It's what's in you. I'm going to say it again. It's not what's on you. It's what's in you. Okay? Say it one more time. It's not what's on you. It's what's in you. And I really had to, like, sit down yesterday. And I was like, dang. Like, he really used to tell us this every day. And I promise you, in one of the videos, I actually laughed. Matter of fact, the video I posted on Snapchat yesterday, I actually laughed when he said that. And I was like... I was like, why did I laugh at that? Um, now, like, I really needed to hear that. Like, and I thank him. Thank you, thank you, thank you for telling me this every day. Like, for making sure I was straight, making sure we got our, me and Gabby got our homework done, making sure, you know, we met the deadlines, you know, just being that big brother. Um, so thank you for that. Thank you for always motivating me. Um, everything thank you thank you thank you um i really surround myself by motivational people especially gabby as well um you know just a lot of i really do have people who really motivate me and people i'll be like dang when i make it to the top you coming with me like we're gonna make it to the top so um make sure you surround yourself by motivational people make sure like even if you have to even if you don't have motivational people in your life like follow these motivational um pages on instagram and every time you're scrolling down your news feed like you're gonna see a motivational post um i always see something that fits me and i usually post it on instagram and post it on snapchat and usually nine times out of ten somebody else would need to hear that um i follow like business motivational quotes and stuff too because i also do have a business and um like business major quotes too because i'm a business major as well so i be needing need to hear uh most of that stuff so that's another thing um the second one is it is okay to cut people off okay i'm gonna say it again it is okay to cut people off it's totally fine like don't feel bad for cutting somebody off that's like, okay, you growing, I don't know, you growing a flower or something, or you growing um, vegetables or whatever in a garden, and you have this one, one leaf or one root or whatever that's like going to ruin the whole thing if you don't cut it. Are you going to leave it on there? Are you going to continue to let that plant die? It's okay to cut people off. Even if somebody's like, even if they're not supporting your dreams or if it's, they're just stopping you mentally or emotionally. It's okay to cut them off. It is totally okay. Like, you can always pick them back up and, and you know, later on down the line or if you feel like, okay, they just were not for me. It's okay to cut it off. Like, no matter if it's I wouldn't really say family because I don't know. But sometimes some people just have those family members who just are not good. Just are not motivational. Just are not helping. Just not nothing. Like, it's okay to cut them off. Um, Like I said, you can always pick them back up. But if you feel like, no, I just got to cut you off because you're just somebody who's, like, bringing me down. You're somebody who's stopping my vision. No, you don't need that. Um, so that just brings me on to um, the diamond process. 
the process of a diamond. Y'all all know these, you know, diamonds. I'm talking about real diamonds. Like, the process of making, creating a diamond. Um, and cutting people off is the third step of the diamond process. But, okay, so, um, when I was in this business or whatever, people used to tell me, um, and I think, one of the things, Malik, also, for um, installing in this in me, because even though I'm not in the business no more, I'm still looking forward to like joining the business back. Um, I just have to like you know make sure things are straight with me first. Um, but I would like to thank Malik for installing this process into me, um, the diamond process. So. So, I don't know if I'm going to say exactly how he told it to me, but I'm going to say how I apply it to my life, you know, things of that sort. So, the first process is being found. I feel like you need to find who you are. Like, find who you are. Like, okay, find things that... Ooh, I can't remember. Okay, so, um, like I said, the first step is find, uh, being found. So, find who you are and stick with that. Like, you know who you are. can nobody tell you who you are. So, once you know who you are, nobody can be like, oh, well, she this, that, and the third, or he doing this because it is. He being a follower. No. Once you know yourself, whatever anybody says about you, going to go in the trash. Whatever anybody says to you, go in one ear out of another, another because you know who you are. You know why you doing this. You know why you're doing that. So, um, being found. Number two is extreme heat. Applying pressure. Like, you're going to be put through some difficult tasks. You're going to be put through something that um, maybe someone you know might not be able to pass. Like, you ever heard, like, God gives his strongest battles to his strongest soldiers? Like, God does everything for a reason. So you might be put to a test that you like, oh, my God, I, I can't, I can't do this. But you also heard, because I know when I was younger, they used to tell me, can't is never in your vocabulary. Can't should never be in your vocabulary. That went for school. That went for um, me when I used to do color guard. They went for literally everything can't is never in your vocabulary that's not that's a word that you should not use ever um so don't ever say you can't do something that's another thing but um you're going to be put to a task that you may think you might not accomplish you're going to be put through something that um you know just like i said something that you can't accomplish being put under pressure like I could be honest and say when I was in this business, I was put under pressure. And that was to, I had to help Malik actually do the opportunity call for this business. And when he called me and he said, you're doing this, he didn't say, do you want to do this? No, he said, you're doing this. And I was like, huh? He's like, so you ready? I was like, well, I guess I have no choice but to be. And he was like, you're right. So, see you at 7. And I'm like, and I was in shambles. I didn't know what I had to say. I knew what I had to speak about, but I didn't know what I had to say. You know, um, I was used to being on Zoom. All I called was via Zoom. I used to remember being on Zoom. I would never turn my camera on. You know, never turn my camera on. Got into the call, and it said, host, Malik, and his last name, um, it's requesting you to turn your camera on. I was like, and I looked at that button and I was like, okay, turn my camera on, things of that sort. And just like when he introduced me, um, I was like, my heart was like beating so fast. And whatever, I took it and ran with it. Like, took it and ran with it and I could honestly say that I am still 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 grateful and
thankful that he put me in those shoes. He put me under pressure. And I refused to fold. Like, I didn't want to look stupid. Like, I didn't want them, like, I'm, I was in this business. So I didn't want people to look at me like, oh, she's in this business. She don't know what she's talking about. Or this, that, and the third. So, I refused to fold under pressure. So, you know, I did what I had to do and whatever. So, um, that's just an example of me, you know, not fully under pressure. So, again, thanks, Malik, for um, doing that for me. Um, and also, with that, I can speak better now. Like, I'm not nervous to speak in front of nobody. I'm, I'm ready. Like, put me in front of a big crowd and, and whatever. I'm a crush it, promise. Um, step three is the cut process. You know, every diamond is put, every diamond is cut different. Um, and that's one of the um, steps is the cut process. So that just goes back to me saying it's okay to cut people off. You have to cut people off to get to where you want to be in life. You have to cut people off to have better and more success in life. Like I said, you can always go back and pick them up later if you decide to but negativity pe negative people and just them knocking you down every five seconds playing with your mental and stuff like that um you don't need that you don't need nobody to be negative um they should be trying to better you like that's just what it is um like um, I'm sorry. When I said they should be trying to better you, that made me think of NBA Young Boys song. Um, to my lowest and my intelligence, you should be trying to better me. They should be better than you. They should not be tearing you down and things of that sort. Um, another thing that goes with that: never be scared to go for what you want. Um, never like. That's like me. Okay, so I have wanted to start this business, whatever. And I started my business now. My business did good the first couple of days. And it I'm going to be honest and say it ain't been doing as it sh as it could do. Um so I'm learning from that. I'm not going to just forsake my business. Like I'm not just going to abandon my business and whatever because this is something I wanted to do. So, um I'm gonna keep running with it. It's kind of low. When I get back into the motions and everything, I'm gonna start it again. Like I still have like things I'm selling, you know, whatever. But never stop. Never be scared to go for what you want because if you don't do it, that's gonna hunt you forever. I feel like. I feel like if I want to start this business, um, things of that sort, it's just. I'm, I'm gonna do it because if I didn't start it, it would have haunted me forever. Um, I even had people who said they were um, going to support and never did. Um, you know, things like that. So, but that does not face me because it be strangers who support you more than people you know or people you know you have connections with. Things of that sort. Like I have, like with my business, I can be honest and say only two people I know actually supported me the rest are people i don't know and that's really crazy but that's really how it be like the most people who support you are going to be strangers definitely people who motivate you might also be strangers more than people who you know but it's okay um another thing is i don't know if anybody has ever heard of him but i honestly first first heard of him whenever I had joined this business um, that I was in. His name is E.T. the Hip Hop Preacher on Instagram. Um, and I actually went, I actually was watching somebody's uh, Insta story today and I ran across this video. I didn't watch the whole thing um, but I am going to watch it literally after I finish this video. It's just something that he said on there that I was like, yes, I got to share with them. Um, so like I said, his name is E.T. the Hip Hop Preacher. 
Um, and he preaches. Like I remember one night, I was literally up watching his video, taking notes. Like I know one thing. I watched a lot of his videos, but one thing that stuck with me is in one of his videos, he said, "Are you gonna be a lion or a gazelle?" And I want y'all to literally interact with me, really, right here. Comment down below, are you a lion or a gazelle? Just by not hearing what I'm about to say. Like, literally, comment down below and tell me, are you a lion or a gazelle? Okay, we're going to wait. We're going to wait. Mm -hmm. um, and I can honestly say, I watched this video July 3rd of 2020 at 5.15 a.m. And that's crazy because you can't really see the date right here, but I can see it. And the time is right there, 515. Um, so, yeah, I took notes and everything of that sort. A gazelle. a gazelle is considered lazy. A gazelle only gets up and run if the lion is chasing them. So, if the lion isn't chasing them, they don't run. Okay. Um, if you chose a lion, a lion wakes up and they don't need no one to push them to get up. They push themselves. Um, he knows that he has to catch the gazelle. Because if not, um, not only do, not only does he not eat, his family doesn't eat. So that motivates him to be like, okay, I gotta get up, go find us food. So, I'm gonna go back to the video. Cause I went into like a little depth about him and he's also on YouTube by the way um but I just went into a depth about one another video I had watched um but I seen the video and something he said was you will fight for your life on the streets but you won't fight an exam and you won't fight a standardized test I'm gonna repeat that again you will fight for your life on the streets but you won't fight an exam and you won't fight a standardized test. Whoa. Like, comment down below if you felt that. Because when I watched it, I was like, what? And I had to rewatch it again. Um, so um, yeah, he said you'll fight for your life on the streets, but you will not fight a standardized test. You will not fight an exam. Um, also he said something. Um, I forgot exactly how um it went. But I'm also going to post the link in the description so y'all can go watch that. Like, y'all need to see that. Um, but basically, um, I, like I said, I don't remember what he said, but what I got from it was you approach your goals and your dreams the same way you would do a fight. So, yeah, that's all I really have in my notes. But I do want to give a special shout out to everybody who did things that they wanted to do this year. This year was really hectic for everybody. You know, the coronavirus started, you know, things of that sort. Things had shut down for a while. We were supposed to be going back into phase two, things of that sort. I hope sort. that this video really um, changed your perspective and really, like, gave you a lot of information and things of that sort. I'm sorry that it's so long, but I really had a lot to say. Um, so, yeah. Thank you guys for watching my YouTube channel. Please be sure to subscribe for more. And also hit that notification bell so you be notified every time I post or do anything of my, above my YouTube channel. Um, I'm also going to start doing, I think I'm going to start doing um, post notification shout outs at the end of my videos. Um, so, you know, once you turn your notification bell on, once you turn your notification bell on, comment down below. And I'm going to give y'all shout outs at the end of my video just for subscribing and turning on your post notification. Um, turn on your post notification and just, you know, supporting me. So that's going to be my thanks to you all. Also, I would like to say that, let's see. At the moment, we have. 201 subscribers y'all this is live this is right now we have 201 subscribers so thank you to every last one of you thank you to all of the 201 people who have subscribed to my youtube channel 
and who has just been motivating me. Y'all motivate me to go harder. Y'all motivate me to post, put out videos all the time. So yeah, thanks. So that is all for now. So until tomorrow or the day after or the day after that, I'm out, y'all. Peace.